We're here at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with John Monnet about the Sonics airplanes. Now, you've been making a lot of noise lately, figuratively, <laughs> figuratively and literally, with yeah. your Subsonic. Tell me just a little bit about that. That's not a sport pilot airplane, but tell not me a, a sport bit about airplane. A sport pilot airplane. It's a sport airplane. It and, sure is uh, that. It's you know, it's, a, it's, it's a very small personal jet that uh, weighs a little over 400 pounds <laughs> and uh, has 250 pounds of thrust on an engine that uh, really gets up and goes. And uh, you know, it's it's kind of been a dream of mine for a long time. It, me 68 years to become a jet pilot so uh, <laughs> i think know, that's just about the right deal. time i'm 70 now so it's uh you know it's 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 been a, a real passion but it, it, it's an offspring of all the other airplanes that we've well had. it's kind of based it's on the one x right it's no it's an entirely different airplane ah, it is okay it's, it's a single seater though. a single seater it's a very small airplane of course we sit well up in front of the cg and the, all the fuel and everything's right on the cg it has a ballistic parachute fully retractable gear and all that stuff that do airplanes so it's, it's, it's a big improvement over the, the rough prototype that they've been there. And, and the engine on it is a, it's what a, is it? It's, it's a standard engine built by PBS in the Czech Republic, and it's really its genesis was uh, for the AP units on MIX. Okay, the I Russian thought it might be an AP yeah, motor. The, 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 Auxiliary uh, the Russian power government, unit, that is. Yeah, the Russian government did all the funded all the development, and then when the Czech Republic broke out from the Soviet Union, they continued to build it. They were very, very uh, uh, involved in not only this, but a lot of other other projects. But uh, this is a, a pure engine for our application. Oh, for, really? For our airplanes, for, for our PBs, etc. So uh, it's a fully developed jet engine. Well, it's just like perfect back there. It looks yeah. like, <laughs> you know, with the V-tail, it's kind of like what Cirrus is doing with their uh, jet yeah. project and yeah, so forth. Yeah, it's just a logical thing. It's 45 pounds. There's, there's two bolts that hold it That's on it? and you unhook it. Yeah, and, wow. and uh, you know, it, from a maintenance standpoint and an installation standpoint, it, was, it fits the Sonic's philosophy, so it's really simple to, 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 to build and maintain this airplane. Good segue, the Sonic's yeah. philosophy. Yeah. A couple of things I would mention, and I want you to amplify those for me, John. You have had an airplane that, uh, first of all, except for the jet-powered one, only because of the engine, and right. if they had really seen where it was going, they might have included that too, because they're fairly easy to operate, right, I'm, yeah. I'm told. They just but, don't know about turbines. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah, they didn't want us to mess yeah, with yeah, them or something, right. I don't know. But all the rest of your airplanes, I think every single one in the line, are what we call sport pilot eligible. That's they correct. may not be like sport because you just didn't jump through that series of hoops, but uh, right. but a guy with a sport pilot certificate or a private commercial, etc., using the privileges of without a medical can fly Exactly. Anything in your line, right? Even though they're experimental amateur built. And, and really, the, we call them the, the, the thoroughbred sport pilot airplanes because they were designed, this airplane was designed to meet the European microlight category. And that was well before sport right. pilot came along. We, we wanted an airplane, we needed to have an airplane that had 1,100 pound gross, that stalled under 40 miles an hour, and uh, we, we could meet the, the, the European microlight micro category. So we fulfilled that contract. Then it all of a sudden became sport pilot. Well, if it fit, it may, yeah, exactly tailor made for what you were doing. Yeah, of course, Sport Pilot has has higher gross weights than the airplanes are, fourteen hundred or whatever they are. Doesn't matter because our, our airplanes are eleven hundred. Yeah, you gross. don't have to go to that number. You just no, can't you exceed and, that. And, and they have about the same average useful load as all the other airplanes. But, you know, the big important thing is that they're aerobatic. Uh, and, yeah. And there's, there's stress for those Gs. They're not just a normal 4G airplane. And it's a fairly reasonable build project, is yeah. it not? Yeah. I mean, yes. I know you've got it down pretty well as far as how you prepare the kits for people. I've yeah. told, been told that a number of times. Yeah, What's the, I don't know, pick a, pick a sort of an average number. We know a builders average, vary. Average is, every, you know, realistic average is 800 to 1,000 hours. But there's oh. built options now. Oh, so, okay. So how much air, could that cut it down? Oh, it cut considerably. Uh, like, like all of the aluminum angle parts that need to be cut, it'll cut about 200 hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Built. So, and everything's matched tools so, and uh, with pre-built spars or even a quick build kit where the fuselage wings are finished. Uh, that, that really speeds up the building time. It's still, the airplane is still very, very reasonable. So, you know, we're, we're talking about airplanes costing well less than 30000 dollars Yeah, I was just going to do that. I want you to talk to me about engines a little bit because I know you you have your own engine line. You have experimented with electric. You're now more than experimenting with uh, jet. You kind of got a broad thing there. We'll come back to that. But the other thing I wanted to talk about was your prices. You have some of the best prices in 
well, yeah. the whole all of aviation. Actually. Yeah. What? Yeah. What is it? Give me some ballpark stuff. We always tell people these videos stay up on the web for a long time. Right. So contact the factory for the latest numbers. Exactly. But get us in the ballpark. It is not hard to build the Sonics for under twenty-five thousand dollars, and that and that Are includes. Are we talking every, in the air? Uh, in the air. That means with an engine, with all the instruments finished. Wow. Uh, so th that's the, the really important part of it, and, and the, even the Sonics. The guys that are really hard, let me repeat yeah, that. Yeah. It's not hard to build a Sonics and get it in the air for twenty-five thousand dollars. That's correct. That's an amazing number yeah. today. That's the and, price of an average new car. Yeah. And no. those guys are making you know hundreds of thousands. And the, of course, the original Sonics is 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 available as a scratch built airplane. So if a guy wanted to go out and buy a pile of oh, aluminum, uh, it, the plans cover built it, building every single part on that airplane. So, I'm sure you got some you know, people to do that too, oh yeah, right? There's some, there's some very, very much. Uh, that's how we started our business, and it, it, and through the miracle of laser cutting and CNC machining, we keep keep adding and and uh, value to the to the kits themselves. So, with pre-made spars and pre pre-built fuselages and wings and all that stuff, so, yeah. there, there's a, the full spectrum of a guy that has a very limited budget or a guy that, that's wise in spending the right amount of money to get an airplane in the air. It's hard to spend a lot of money, though, is, yeah. uh, because... Yeah, if you, if you spend $30,000 dollars on a Jap 3300-powered Sonics like the ones that are sitting here, um, that, that would be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing number today. Yeah, yeah it is. It's so, uh, let's talk about engines a little bit. You mentioned okay. you do the Jabiru 3300. Right. What other engines do you do, and let's end up with the Aero V. Okay, well, if the, the engines primarily that we recommend are the, are the Aero V and the, the 2200 and 3300. Jabru, that means the those 2200 are, are is 80 horsepower. Yeah. The airplane was designed for 80 horsepower. So, okay. so uh, when we when we put a Jabru 3300, which is 120 horsepower, you know, 40 more horsepower is you know that, that gives you a lot. And that that whole that whole idea is that uh, well, you're just going to spend a little more money, but but the 80 horsepower is more than adequate to do the job. This airplane we're standing to right next to is is an, an Aero V powered. Okay, let's talk about the Aero V. Now, this is the one that you guys sort of have your hands all around, and it's a kit engine, too, right? It's a kit engine, yes. Which is not a common phrase to use. Right, but I mean, we're proud to say that we're, we're one of the few companies that not only produces airframes, but produces engines for them. Uh, and it's very limited makes, number makes to it, do that. Uh, exactly. Jabiru company, but other than that, not many and, that I can think of. You know, I've been flying uh, these VW-based airplanes since 1970, so we, we have a lot of experience in, in how to build them and work it in, in, through the Aero V system. Uh, we've developed ignition systems, uh, aerocarbon injectors that are the proper carburation for the uh, for the airplane and uh, our prop hub units, etc. That the, the engine's full featured with electronic ignition, uh, wow. magneto ignition uh, as a backup uh, that is all self-contained with only one moving part in the ignition systems, and that's the crankshaft assembly, which we're really proud of. Because we don't have any gears, belts, and whistles yeah, right. or anything else that you would have. That a, should ensure more reliability. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so that that's the big thing, and, and just the experience of building that as a, as a, a kit engine was, you know, if you're going to build an airplane, What's the deal about building an engine? Well, and, yeah, and, people and, and seem now, intimidated by yeah, it, but I yeah, and it, and it doesn't make any sense because you know if you if you build an if you build up an engine with the proper manuals, we have a step by step manual. And, Everything is engineered so that, that the guy can be successful in, in, in putting this engine together in a few days. And, and uh, now when he when he wants to or has to maintain it in the future, he knows what to do. He knows, he's got he the knows what he's got the tools. He's got the education. No, literally knows to take. And remember, the part is experimental. The big part of it is it's for recreation and education. So, right. Uh, you know, but not only can you if you build an airplane, you can build an engine, and, and, and you've got the whole package. And, you're a much better individual. Learn a lot, love a lot. Yeah, right. pretty good deal. Well, yeah. I, I want to get back to uh, we, we've asked you a few good questions here. There's a lot more that people like to ask. You guys have had a, I've been over your website a lot, and it's a beautiful, wonderfully done website. Congratulations on that. Tell us how we find that. We'll put it on the screen. So just tell us. The yeah, website. it's just really simple. Sonicsaircraft.com. Sonicsaircraft.com. Yeah, you can find it. And actually, we're we're going through a revision on the of the website in the next couple of months. You're going to see a really exciting one. So, uh, hard to believe you can make it a lot better. Yeah, it, but it'll be much, much more because of the of the newer website uh, technology. We can we'll be able to update it more. But that's a source for not only uh, all, all of our new products, but you know you'll see what. what Builders are, are doing right. and and, and the, the new finished products and and of course we're always introducing products to our, our, our line. We we have the aero conversions line which, which has a new tail wheels, a, a brake system that's actually designed for the, the Sonics that, that uh, everything fits. 
compared to some of the other apps. Sure, you know, if you plug it all together, you're right providing it. It's not package. clutched together exactly. And, and uh, you know, that's that's been a, a, a really good thing, to, not only the website, but and I, and I, I would be remiss in not mentioning our builder's workshops. There's a, three times a year we have a, a two-day builder's workshop at Oshkosh that teaches a guy not only the philosophy of the airplane, how to read the plans. Uh, they, they build a project that Beautiful. they don't wreck a real perfect airplane Perfect for a first time but, especially. Yes, so perfect for a guy that wants to make the decision as to whether he wants to build an airplane, make that commitment or whatever. Uh, we, we think we, we pack that, that uh, two days full of information and, and that guy can make up his decision. And one of the things we do is we offer a discount on the kits um, to be able to cover their, their travel expenses. That's wow. how important it is to me to give that education. To give, not only give that education, but you know, in a, in a selfish way, the better educated our, our builders are, the less time they're going to be on the phone ah, with me. True. Yeah, so, and, and we spend a lot of, not a lot of time, but we have a, a tech department that supports our builders and uh, and uh, users of our products. That's really important. So, uh, all of that, you know, it makes it makes I think Sonics. Uh, well, you've been a leader for a long time. Keep up the great work. Yeah. Your son Jeremy running the show these days while you and Betty take a little bit of a back seat, uh, but, back uh, seat, yeah. but not too much because they got you working right out yeah. here on a Sunday. My so. back seat is the, the one seat in the jet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you keep up That's that great deal. work. I've gotten to fly a couple of the different uh, Sonics airplanes. I've been looking to do more here in the future. Sure. You can find a lot of that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Sebring.